Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasa Naushin and today I'm here with my third Halloween makeup look for this year. Naturally, I'm really attracted to the ocean and the sea. So I thought why not create this look for you guys which is like a ocean goddess makeup look which matches my personality. So I hope you guys will enjoy this one and if you wanna know how to get this makeup look right here then please keep on watching. I did my base off camera so now I'm doing my brows. So basically I wanted my inner part of the brows to be turquoise and then fading it into my natural brow color. And on my crease I am taking the Jaclyn Hill palette and taking the shade Jada and I am putting it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my crease. And I'm also putting a little bit on the sides of my nose. And I'm also putting this on my lower lash line. Now taking a dark blue shade and I'm going to focus this only on the crease of my eyes. Here I'm taking a concealer to curve out my crease. And I'm going back to that blue shade and I'm defining my crease with that. Now I'm again taking the Jaclyn Hill palette and taking a aqua shade and I'm putting this all over my eyelids. Here I'm taking a aqua glitter and I'm putting this on top. To highlight my inner corners, I am taking the Sleek Pimsical Wonderland palette and taking a iridescent green shade. Here I am taking a champagne shade from that same palette and I am highlighting my brow bones. Here I am applying some mascara and falsies on the lower lashes and upper lashes. Now I will start contouring. So basically I'm mixing two shades, a blue and a green, so that it comes out almost like turquoise and I will start contouring with that. As you guys can see, I'm applying a lot on my forehead, cheekbones and jawline. And I'm going back to that same shade that we use uh, to highlight our inner corners. And I'm also highlighting my forehead and the bridge of my nose. Going back to that champagne shade. And now I'm taking Inglot Dura Line and a really icy blue silverish kind of a shade. And I'm putting this all over my forehead and cheekbones. Now I will start applying some shells, pearls of different sizes and colors on my forehead so that it almost looks like a crown or a headpiece. As it was taking a lot of time that's why I already did half of my face off camera. After applying those pearls, I wanted those pearls to blend into my skin properly, that's why I'm applying some white dots around it.
also on my cheekbones and my inner corners. Now I'll move on to the neck part. I'm basically doing the same thing as I did on my face. So I will start by contouring and then highlighting a little bit with the glitter. And here I'm applying some shells and pearls. And again I'm adding some white dots around it. For the lips, first I'm taking a light like gloss. And then on the middle part, I'm taking an intense pink and I'm making sure that it is well blended. And that's it guys. I think this makeup look will be really easy to recreate. But if you think this eye makeup is too complicated for you, then you can surely skip this part. Just add these pearls and shells and you'll be good to go. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye!